Welcome to the Researcher YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and in this video I will show you how to use the media library in Modelica and Open Modelica to compute the different properties of air. If you go to the media library, you will see that inside air, reference air and under air utilities, there is a lot of functions for computing air properties. The problem is that when you open one of these functions, for instance, CP from the pressure and the temperature of air as inputs, you don't see very well how it's computed. So instead of going through the different layers of the models and the functions and how it is computed, Today I will show you how to use this function together with the model of the Earth standard atmosphere. This way, depending on your altitude or height, you will obtain the different values of air. If you want to read about the different atmospheric models, this is a very nice website with a very good and extensive explanation of the model. In the end, it's a collection of equations depending on the altitude or height that divide the atmosphere in layers. I won't explain the atmospheric model in detail since that is not the goal and you can read about it. However, I will explain how to define or declare the different variables with units and how to use the different values to obtain the air properties. And we will compare the results with some reference values to see if everything is working properly. The atmosphere model needs a few parameters. For instance, the sea level gravity, you can see that defining gravity with units of acceleration is quite easy. You add the keyword parameter if you want to declare it as a parameter. And to find the proper units, you just need to go inside Modelica, units, SI, and whichever units you need, in this case, acceleration units. If you have problems finding the units, you can declare them by declaring, for, for instance, a real variable or parameter in this case, and declaring its units like this. In this case, is the gas constant. In the case of an array, this can be a bit more difficult. So if the unit is not available, which is the case of the geopotential height, which has units of meters, but the unit is corrected using gravity. So we declare the unit as M prime. And we do the same with for instance, the molecular scale temperature gradient. The remaining parameters and variables, you will recognize them easily because they are the different values related to air and air properties and some reference values such as the earth radius or the sea level temperature, density and so on. We declare some variables such as the geopotential height or the geometric height, some auxiliar arrays for the different layers, and auxiliar variable to track the atmospheric layer, and then the different variables that we will compute in the model. I will zoom out to solve the equations, but you don't have to worry because 
I will share the code in the description. Once you have computed your values using the model, you will obtain the pressure, temperature, density, speed of sound, and dynamic viscosity. Usually, those values are enough, but when you are doing computations related to thermodynamics, you sometimes need other properties like CP, CV, and so on. I will simulate now to check the values at zero altitude. So we will use CP and CV for comparison with some data that I have found online. At a temperature of 288.7 Kelvin, our CV is 0 0.71, but check the units and for the case of our CP is 1.006 and remember the units so if I go back now to open Modelica you can see that these units are in joules so they are 1000 times bigger the temperature that we have obtained here you can change from Celsius to Kelvin and so on for the different units and results. The model as it is right now is not very useful since you, ne since you need to change the value of your geometric altitude here. One of the things that you could do we are going to comment this line and what we will do is make the model partial. Save with Control S. And then I have created this little package where you can see the atmosphere model and the types that we have declared. And I have created this little model, note your error. If I uncomment these two lines, what we do is to extend their properties model, since being partial it cannot be used on its own, and then we get all the variables and parameters in there, and for instance we can take the geometric altitude and give it a value. I will use time because I can change it in the simulation settings and go for instance to 100 which would be in this case 100 meters we'll give it smaller interval and now simulate we'll close this plot and create for instance a new parametric plot And now, as you can see, by plotting the temperature, we can see how the model is changing depending on our altitude or height. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos.